Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the secret exclusivity deal that Qualcomm, the chipmaker, has with Microsoft, which is preventing Windows 11 ARM from being installed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and preventing boot camp from happening, and how this might become a reality very soon as this exclusivity deal is going to expire. So if you didn't know much about Qualcomm, they are the chip maker that's most famous for their Snapdragon brand of chips, which is used in many different Android smartphones. However, they are also tightly integrated in into the Surface Pro X lineup. And this is Microsoft's ARM-based chip, and this is where most of the development for Windows 11 ARM is targeted towards at the moment. So Qualcomm are responsible for developing, amongst other things, the Microsoft SQ1 and SQ2 chips, which are used exclusively in the Microsoft Surface Pro X lineup. However, it seems to be the case that according to xdadevelopers.com, that Qualcomm's exclusivity deal with Microsoft is going to expire very soon. This will mean that other ARM-based chip makers are going to be able to step in and create their own Windows 11 ARM-based PCs. So for example, MediaTek recently announced at their executive summit that they're going to be making a set of MediaTek-powered PCs running Windows on Windows ARM. And this could also mean that Apple could potentially step in and also license Windows 11 ARM as soon as this exclusivity deal is over. Apple have always stated that Windows can run natively on the M1 Mac, but it's really up to Microsoft. In this interview, Apple have stated we have the core technologies for them to do that, to run their ARM versions of Windows, which in turn, of course, supports x86 user mode applications. But that's a decision Microsoft has to make to bring to license that technology for users to run on these Macs, but the Macs are certainly very capable of it. So we've all speculated about why Boot Camp is not currently available on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And I think we now have this answer. It's due to this exclusivity deal between Qualcomm and Microsoft, which is preventing Microsoft from licensing their Windows 11 ARM to other hardware manufacturers. So the next question is, when is this exclusivity exclusivity clause going to expire when are we going to get Windows 11 ARM boot camp on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac? And this is very hard to say because we don't actually know when this deal started and we don't know how long this contract is for. The only thing that we have is this line from XDA developers where they state, speaking with people familiar with it, we've learned that the deal is set to expire soon. Now soon can be quite broad, it could be three months, it could be three years from now, who knows exactly how long it's going to be. Qualcomm and Microsoft have been working together for many years now. According to this article, it's been since 2016. They've been developing the SQ1 and SQ2 since 2019. So one of the earliest press releases that I could find from December 2016 shows that Qualcomm and Microsoft first announced their partnership on December the 8th, 2016. If we say that the partnership and the exclusivity and all of the NDAs would last for say five years, we could have an announcement potentially by the end of December 2021, which is just a month away, which will allow Microsoft to start licensing Windows 11 ARM to other hardware manufacturers, or it could be a seven year exclusivity deal, which would mean an expiry date of closer to 2023, or it could just be the case that the licensing deal is expiring and that they could be renewing at the end of this period, or they could even go exclusive with a different hardware manufacturer. There's nothing to say that Windows 11 ARM is definitely going to be able to be licensed to any hardware manufacturer that wants it. So there's a lot of speculation about what this exclusivity deal means and how long it's going to last for and what this really means for bootcamp on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. However, I would be quite excited if we could get bootcamp workings because this would mean that we could have the native performance of the M1 chip running these Windows games and applications and getting the full power and compatibility of Windows on this powerful Apple Silicon hardware. It would also solve a whole host of issues. For example, we could potentially get Windows games that require DirectX 12 to work, which is currently not supported on crossover or parallels. And we could get compatibility with Windows games that have very sensitive anti-cheat that don't like being run in Wine or a virtual machine. And we could definitely get the maximum performance out of it. However, for the time being, if you are interested in getting Windows games and applications working on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then we can still make use of parallels. If you check out my video tutorial, this will take you through step-by-step -step on how to install applications that run through crossover or how to get a parallels virtual machine working, which is gonna give you the best Windows 11 ARM performance on the computer, or even how to get cloud gaming working. Anyway, let me know what you you think about Windows 11 ARM? Do you think it's worth running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac via bootcamp? And when do you think this exclusivity deal is really going to end? Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.